Well, I'd like to talk to you about accounting, specifically depreciation. Now, please don't change channels. I know this may be boring, but our government officials depend on your lack of interest and involvement in order to do what they want. They count on you not being interested in details like what I want to present to you. In particular, I want to explain how proper attention given to the depreciation expense of the Interest Bank Arena in downtown Wichita would recognize and account for the sacrifices of the people of Sedgwick County and its visitors to pay for the arena. This would be a business-like way of accounting, but it's a well-hidden secret. Our leaders don't want you to know the true story, but I'll tell it to you. Well, Sedgwick County owns the Interest Bank Arena, and the county promotes a revenue-sharing agreement between the country, uh, the county and SMG, the company that operates the arena. Each year, a calculation is made, and the result of that is called profit or loss. But this arrangement is not an accurate and complete accounting, and it hides the true economics of the arena. What's missing is depreciation expense. Now, an example of the incomplete editorializing on this issue comes from Rhonda Holman of the Wichita Eagle, who recently opined, though great news for taxpayers, that oversized check for $255,678 presented to Sedgwick County last week reflected interest bank arenas passed, specifically the county's share of 2013 profits. And earlier reporting on this topic in the Wichita Eagle did not mention depreciation expense either. Now, there are at least two ways of looking at the finances of the arena. Most attention is given to this profit, or maybe loss, earned by the arena for the county according to an operating and management agreement between the county and SMG, the company that operates the arena. This agreement specifies a revenue sharing mechanism between the county and SMG. And for 2013, the accounting method used in this agreement produced a profit of about $705,000 to be split, not equally, but split between SMG and the county. The county's share, as Rhonda Holman noted earlier, was about $255,000. And presumably, that's after deducting the cost of producing an oversized check for the television cameras. Now, while described as profit by county officials, this payment does not represent any sort of profit or earnings in the usual sense. In fact, the introductory letter that accompanies these calculations warns readers that these are not intended to be a complete presentation of Interest Bank Arena's financial position and results of operations and are not intended to be presentation in conformity with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States of America. Well, I think that bears repeating. This is not a reckoning of profit and loss in any recognized sense. It bears little resemblance to the actual economics of what has happened. It is simply an agreement between Sedgwick County and SMG as to how SMG is to be paid and how the county participates. Well, a much better reckoning of the economics of the Interest Bank Arena can be found in the 2013 version of the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report for Sedgwick County. This document holds additional information about the finances of the Interest Bank Arena. The CAFR, as described by the county, is a review of what occurred financially at Sedgwick County in 2013. In that respect, it is a report card of our ability to manage our financial resources. And regarding the arena, this financial report says the arena had an operating loss of $4.7 million. The loss can be attributed to $5.3 million in depreciation expense. And financial statements in the same document show that $5.3 million was in fact charged for depreciation in 2013, bringing accumulated depreciation since the arena opened to a total of about $21 million. Depreciation expense is not something that is paid out in cash. Sedgwick County did not write a check for $5.3 million in depreciation expense. Instead, accounting for depreciation provides a way to recognize and account for the cost of long-lived assets over their lifespan. 
It provides a way to recognize opportunity costs, that is, what could be done with our resources if not spent on the arena. But some people don't recognize this. In years past, Sedgwick County Commissioner Dave Unruh made remarks that show the severe misunderstanding that he and almost everyone labor under regarding the nature of the spending on the arena. He said, I want to underscore the fact that the citizens of Sedgwick County voted to pay for this facility in advance. And so not having debt service on it is just a huge benefit to our government and to the citizens so we can go forward without having to worry about making those payments and still show positive cash flow. So it's a great benefit to our community, and I'm still pleased with this report. Now, it's Sedgwick County Commissioner Dave Unruh. Now, the contention of Unruh and most others, such as the Wichita Eagle Editorial Board, is that the capital investment of $183 million on the arena is merely a historical artifact. It's something that happened in the past, something that has no bearing today. There is no opportunity cost, according to his view. This attitude, however, disrespects the sacrifices of the people of Sedgwick County and its visitors to raise those funds. Any honest accounting or reckoning of the performance of Interest Bank Arena must take depreciation expense into account. While Commissioner Unruh is correct in that depreciation expense is not a cash expense that affects cash flow, it is an economic, effect, uh, economic fact that cannot be ignored. Well, except by politicians, it seems. And we see our governmental and civic leaders all the time telling us that we must run government like a business. But when given the opportunity to account for government like a real business would, they don't do that, at least not in a public way. Instead, they present an accounting fiction that bears no economic connection to profit in a business sense but they tell us it is profit. And to learn the truth, you have to dig through documents like comprehensive annual financial reports. Without frank and realistic discussion of numbers like this and the economic facts they represent, we make decisions based on incomplete and false information. <laughs>